Hey guys, what is up and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be taking you along with me as I prep for a little girls weekend away, which I'm so excited about. My friend Molly and I are going to the Gold Coast just for two nights, just for like a little getaway start of the new year type thing. We go on our first teaching prac on the 1st of February, so this is like a getaway type situation before we jump into our first prac. But yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then click that notification bell so you are notified when I post more videos like these. Alrighty, let's jump into the video. Hi guys, I am having to use, oh, mm -hmm. I sound like a man and the quality probably looks bad because I'm on my phone because I woke up this morning and Winston had chewed my um, SD card adapter to go into my laptop and my SD card, which was in the adapter. So I have to go and pick up a new SD card. Thankfully I have another adapter. Full, but SD cards are so expensive. They're like 60, 70 bucks for just like a 64 gig SD card. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go to the shops and get that. I am also going to be picking up a few things for this weekend. Um, I'm going to be re-getting my nails done and yeah, so let's go. Alrighty, I am back from the shops. I'm in the same position as I was when I introed this video because I had to, as you saw in that clip, I had to go and buy a new SD card because Winston chewed it up. Love that for me. But yeah, so I have my new SD card in and I also thought I would show you what else I got from the shops. I went to go get my nails done, so I just got little brown tips. I had the rainbow like outline tips before, but I thought this would be kind of cute. I'm really pale at the moment because I'm going to tan tonight. Apologies if I sound like a man. I have been getting over a cold, which has been so annoying, but um, it's actually been good because I have been able to rest and I haven't rested in a very long time. But yeah, I thought I would show you what I got from the shops. As I said before, I'm going on my first teaching prac for three weeks which is kind of scary um but i have no like teacher like appropriate clothes um so i'll just show you what i got i got a few things um and yeah let's go i thought i'd come and sit down in my new little favorite filming spot can i use my arms please <sighs> i thought i would quickly show you what i got for from the shops i.e the clothes that I'm trying to put together outfits for for my first prac and I have zero like teacher style appropriate clothes. I love clothes a lot like I love like I have a specific style I feel anyway um, and teacher clothes are not it <laughs> or I I need to rephrase that and re-change that in my mind and be like I just need to work and figure out a way to make my style and teacher clothes like mesh together. Besides the clothes, I got like two little things, little pencil case from Kmart. This is just so cute. And this little lunch box from Cotton On. Look how freaking cute it is. Little lunch box. I have like a try on portion of the clothes as well. So you can see what they look like on me, which makes me a bit nervy because they're not my favorite summer okay I'm just gonna stop talking the first thing I got is this polka dot top which I think is just really fun anytime I think of primary school teachers I just think of like fun patterns just really cute and fun clothes so I thought this polka dot top would be really cute but depending on what school I go to and if they allow you to wear jeans I thought these like mum jeans from Kmart black mum jeans with the white and black polka dot top. The next thing are these pants my mum got me from Sabo Skirt. They're like these florally pants. It's really hard to show here, but you can see in the try on. They're really, really comfy, nice flowy pants. Um, and I, tie, I paired it with this white ribbed top from Kmart. Kmart tops are actually really good. Like they feel like legit, like proper tops. And they were like $6, I think. So I got that white one and I also paired the same white top 
with this black like flowy like pencil skirt from cotton on but i thought this one was really cool because you can kind of see in the try on bit as well but there's like these rose patterns on them so it's not just a plain black ankle length skirt and then my last outfit i just used another one of these rib tees but it's just plain black from kmart but it's one of those skirts again but it's like this gold cheetah print this just is so fun to me. I love prints and I love just this color too. It's really nice. So that's all of the stuff that I got from Kmart and Cotton On and everywhere for my teacher clothes. Many hours later. It is now nighttime on Thursday and I thought I would just jump in and chat to you because I'm about to 10. Um, I'm not going to show you just because the lining in my bathroom is really bad and I don't want to 10 in here. <laughs> Um, when I get some form of like box lighting or ring light, I'll be able to show you my tanning routine, which will be really fun. But yeah, tomorrow I will wake up, wash my tan off and show you what I'm packing. I'll show you me after I tan because when I tan, some people can just like sleep in a shirt or something. But I fully go ham on my ugly pajamas, long bottoms, long top, because I'm such a restless sleeper. I wake up with like eight different handprints on me, so I like fully encapsulate myself in like winter pajamas. We sleep with the air on so I don't melt. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna tan, and then I'll show you me in my crazy pajamas, and then washed me with a washed tan in the morning. Let's go. Oh my goodness, the color difference? Unreal. <gasps> hey guys, good morning. It is Friday. Ooh. As you can tell, I just woke up because I do not look good, fun, nor fresh. I have like a tan beard. <laughs> um, but this is me in the morning before I wash off my tan. I don't think I showed you my pajamas. This is what I mean when I say I wear like ugly pajamas because I roll around a lot in my sleep and I will like make patches. But yeah, don't worry about the color difference. I don't like to tan my face because it makes my skin go funny. Yeah, so I'm going to go wash this off and then I will see you guys after. Well. <laughs> This is me with my tan done, but what a change today has brought us. So I was filming this video wanting to do like a prep with me for my girls trip away this weekend. But this morning at eight o'clock, our premiere, I think that's what she is, she's a premiere? The person in charge of our state, Anastasia Palaszczuk, said that um, Brisbane is now going into a three-day lockdown. So, Molly and I won't be going to the coast anymore. Obviously bummed, but not the end of the world. We're still in a pandemic. So, um, yeah, we found out that news this morning. So, instead of doing a prep with me i'm gonna be rearranging my room and kind of just taking you on a vlog i guess of my day um because we're not going away anymore i have just finished taking some photos that i needed to take for instagram um but i really want to fix up this room it's just not inspiring me at all i don't have any like external light like a ring light or a softbox light or anything so when i film in this room or in my bedroom that i've been doing recently the only light i get in is from my windows and luckily i have really big windows but um it kind of limits where i can film or like how i film um but yeah and i feel like this room is just really really cluttered and it brings me a lot of stress so um i watched steph Steph Pace's um, like organize your life for 2021 I guess video and um, she was like less mess equals less stress um, so I'm gonna try and implement that in my life but yeah crazy times
Okay, it is many hours later and I feel bad for my friends who got Snapchats of me trying to figure out what to do with this room. But I definitely went with more of a minimalistic vibe. I feel like before I had lots of clutter and it would be really stressful to me. Um, I'm paranoid. I put a rug down and I'm so scared the dog's going to pee on the rug because he has a habit of peeing on rugs. Um... But yeah, so it's quite minimalistic. There's not much in here. It's not completely done because I need to put up a bunch of frames on my wall of like, I printed out some images of like real neutral tones um, to put on there so that I'll put them up tomorrow when I go to work and pick up some like little nails to put on the walls. But I will show you what I have done so far. I'm pretty happy with it. I feel really calm in here, which is really, really nice. The door, this is what you see. So I have this little table here, I had it before, and my little plant so I could just put like my phone or whatever, almost if you would think like walking into a house, you have like a little thing to drop your stuff off. And I have a little bag rack with my hat, this is just there for the time being. Um, I then moved this shelving system over here, and my desk here, which is like perfect lighting if I want to film like me doing my makeup or whatever. And this is the wall that's going to have like the um, frames I have that frame and then I have a eight other ones that I'm gonna do like a little situation on there and then I have my little planty and then my mirror and then my rug. I feel like it just looks so much better than what it did before and no matter the angle, cute pictures. <laughs> but yeah, so that is what I got up to literally all of this afternoon. I've been called in to work for tomorrow, so that will be fun. Um, but yeah, I don't even know what this video is going to be like, but... Hi Winston. But yeah, so that's all I've got so far. Alrighty guys, I have gotten home from work. It is Sunday now. Um, we find out what is happening with our lockdown tomorrow, which will be so interesting. I'm sorry this um, video was so random, um, but that was literally my weekend. Um, I'm going to end the video here have a new video coming out on either tuesday or wednesday so look out for that video if you made it all the way to the end of this weird weird video hit that like button and comment a pink heart down below just so i can comment back and chat with you guys also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know when i post more videos thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time bye